Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. One question that comes up time and time again is how do I transfer files between my Windows PC and my Amiga? Most of us will have CF cards in our Amigas that were probably set up under Windows using WinUAE. We could always remove that CF card again, connect it to the computer and use the emulator again to transfer more files across. If we're only going to be transferring a couple of small files, like say a couple of music modules, we don't have to do that. We can use our GoTech instead. This thing reads Amiga Disk Images or ADF files. So I'm going to show you how to create ADF files under Windows. And no, we are not using emulation. Okay, we're going to copy a couple of modules from our PC across to our Amiga. We're going to create an ADF disk image to hold them, and we are not going to use WinUAE. So let's pick a couple of modules, say from Jester, a couple of classics. How about Elysium and Stardust Memories? That's only a total of 276k, so still plenty of room, even with those modules on an Amiga disk. In fact, while we're doing this, let's stick on a bit of Stardust Memories to listen to. So we're gonna jump online, and we need to download a bit of software called ADF Opus. This top link here, this is the one you want. Now if this looks like something from the early 2000s, well, that's because this software has not been updated in quite a while. Don't worry though, it still works perfectly fine even under Windows 10. So we'll just download it here quickly. There we are, and let's install it. Now there's no bloatware with this or anything, so feel free to accept the license agreement and just click next to get it installed. That's us. Now the first time you do open it on the Windows 10, you will probably see this error message. Don't worry about that though. It never appears again, and the software works perfectly fine. And this is it, ADF Opus. It presents us with this Windows directory that we can browse through our computer. So let's go to our D drive, Amiga, Modules, and Jester. The mods we want to copy are in here. We do need to create an ADF disk image though, so we're going to click this first icon. We're going to click Browse. We'll stick it in our Amiga directory and we'll just call it Modules. Now it's important you put the .adf afterwards. We need to create a new label for it here, just this is what it will be called on the Amiga. So we'll just call it Modules again. And we're going to open after creating. That's it. This is our blank Amiga disk. So moving files between the Windows directory and our Amiga disk is incredibly simple. Click, drag, drop. Just like that, there's our two mods on the disk image ready to be transferred to the Amiga. There's our disk image here. So I can move that across to our USB drive. That's it on our USB stick with selector ADF ready to go. But just before we go into the Amiga, let me show you one other thing you can do with ADF Opus. You can also open existing ADF files. So for example, if I Go in here, we have OS 3.1. Here's the Workbench ADF disk image. Let's open that. We can browse the contents of this disk image here. 
and we can manipulate them as we want. We can also copy any files or folders out of here back into Windows. For example, I can grab this des.info, drag it across, and even take the utilities if I want. Then we go back in through Windows Explorer. There's that utilities folder that we copied. There's devs.info. This really is a very handy bit of software that any Amiga user needs on their Windows PC. Right, let's jump on to the Amiga now. We'll mount our ADF disk image in the GoTech drive and we'll copy those modules onto the Amiga. Let's plug our pen drive into the GoTech. We'll load our selector program. I'm going to select our modules, ADF. We'll stick it in number one, F10 to save. Right, here is our modules, ADF that we created, and here is the mods that we copied across. And would you look at that, I'm an idiot. I was meant to copy Elysium and Stardust Memories, but I've obviously copied this one by mistake. No matter. Now, what do they say? Anything PC can do, Amiga can do better. Let's listen to a bit of this mod while we're copying the files off the disk image onto the Amiga's hard drive. So we'll use Dopus to help us. My GoTech is mounted as DF1. And I'm going to stick the modules into a new folder, say, and we'll put it on DH2. So we will make a directory in here. We'll call it modules. And we'll just copy these two files across. There we are, that's it. So if we go into drive DH2, which is files, here's our new modules drawer, and here they are. Wasn't that extremely simple? No mucking around with emulation, just using ADF disk image to transfer our modules across. Now I can only recommend you do that if it's small files. Say if I wanted to copy that full Jester folder across onto the Amiga, well, the quickest way to do that is probably still to pull the CF card, or the IDE drive in my case, out of the Amiga and stick it into the PC. The other option of course is to use the likes of a CF to PCMCIA adapter, but I don't have one of those. I do think though where you have small files to transfer, ADF Opus is definitely your friend. I do recommend everyone download it, have a play with it, I'll stick a link to it in the description below. Well that's it for this week, just a quick video, I wanted to show you that wee bit of software. If you enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up, please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and why not check out some of my other stuff. See you next time.